Okay, here's what we got to th this week. Um, I got an email the other day said, Hey Don, you are... Uh, we have a space for you in this class that we're having remotely. I'm like, oh great, class, yay. And then I realized yesterday class was 9 to 5. Or pretty much all day. Five days a week. And I think the instructor, he's British. I think he sounds British. I think he might be uh, coming to us from across the pond because whenever, when class starts, it's all nice and bright and sunny. As the day goes by, it gets darker in his room. So, yeah, makes me think that he is probably about five hours ahead of us. He's teaching us. Uh, on an afternoon shift from the UK. Maybe, I'm not sure. But I know it's dark whenever we finish at, at his place. So, um, I'm running late. Uh, decided I'm gonna get up early. I'm going to, if I don't get out and run, I'm going to r ride my bike. And then whenever it gets, uh, everyone class is done, I'll go out and take a late run then. Today I gotta, Got to get Sammy after school. She was hungry. She had to stay for practice. I brought her some cookies to hold her off until she gets home. But it's after 5 and I'm just getting started. 1.2 miles. Here we go. So I am trading quality and quantity this week. There's a track meet going on up here at the school. Uh, but I am... Going to get some trail runs in today, anyway, and then uh, I'll have uh, my bike. I'm going. I'm going to trade uh, miles on the flat for long, well, longer miles on the on the uh, trail or uptown for uh, time on the trail here. Just so I can get some miles in, get some elevation. <sighs> then uh, I'll make up for it a little bit on Friday. Whenever I have uh, uh, my last day of class, should get out early that day. A lot of times they finish up around uh, 1 o'clock or cram all the, all the lectures in before lunch and then tell you lab and lunch and go home whatever you want to do a lot of us will forego the labs if they are ones that we've already had experience doing before and uh, to take our lunch be done but uh, we don't know until that day gets here but uh, uh, that'll be well, that'll mean I'll have more time to run Friday in the afternoon. Then I got my long run Saturday. Whew. Plus I'm on call. So on call means everywhere I go, I've got to take my work phone in case I get called. But you never know what that's going to be like. So crossing my fingers on that one. <sighs> got about a loop in. Probably at almost two miles now, but let's get, get some time on my feet. This trail isn't very hard to run, but it's just, it's technical. It's got the roots and the rocks that go by. Right now it's covered with leaves, but uh, it's close to what Valley Falls is gonna look like. Maybe less rocks, but uh, it's just getting my time on my feet. <sighs> this track meets can go on for hours. My cousin has girls that's in there on the uh, Mannington Middle team, and uh, they were there for four hours last week, and it still wasn't over. There's still other teams that had to go, but all of their events were over. So probably will last until about nine or so. <sighs> Yeah, I think she said 
they got there at four four o'clock and left at 8 30. by the time their events got started and finished it was 8 30. gotta be careful not to fall i do not have my trail shoes on today i know <laughs> not a good idea but that's all i had besides putting on my ones that rub blisters a blister on my toe i'd rather wear these and have a blister i'm taking it easy i've got almost three miles in now so not too shabby let's see yeah just now 301 all right might be able to get another two miles see what see what time it is 552 i'm just waiting for dinner to get ready then i'll go down and eat and then uh like i said three miles that's pretty good i'm not going on the more technical part I'm staying where it's a little bit flatter. I mean, not, not flatter, but more of a... Uh, less of a slope in the trail. Because less likely I'll fall over. <laughs> All right, guys. So, it looks like I got my 5.2 miles in at uh, 1 hour and 9 minutes. About 700 feet of elevation gain. Not too bad. Uh, e the EHQ run is a uh, it's a 5.2 mile loop and i did seven loops seven or eight loops last time with 3200 uh, elevation gain so divide that up well it's 40 miles i did 40 miles divided by eight i guess five loops that's about um what is that whatever it is <laughs> uh uh yeah 700 something between 750 maybe per per one uh, it's a different type of elevation though for that thing it, it's much different than this uh, but anyway i am heading back down to the house i got my uh i'm now walking so i put my uh, my watch on walking for a cool down getting down through these this trail here now i think this year i'm going to be seriously going to come up here and I'm going to uh, map me out a trail clean me out of place cut down some trees that have uh, cut trees that have, have fallen cut them out of the way I want to do that this year I really do I said I was going to do that five years ago and I didn't do it I want to do it this year I got a big race coming up and I want to do well and I want to be able to have a good place to train good technical trail to train on as if I'm right there in the trail, on the trail that I'm going to be running on. So we'll go. Ah. I'll go uh, either have to buy a chainsaw or borrow one, and I get up here and start trimming these things out of the way, trimming and cutting and all the good stuff. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. My five miles up in North Marion again. Ah. Just getting the miles in because I have. Uh, a lot of things going on this week, I, like I said, with work and then after school stuff. Whoop! Hey, hey I got it. <laughs> but, uh, got to make the miles when you can. Do the cross training, get my bike rides in. Uh, drop me a like, a comment, subscribe if you're not. Share the video if you think somebody wants to know. Hey, I'm doing the EHQ run again. Even the geese are excited. They're down there somewhere. But anyway, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Come back again so you can see me in the next one. And those geese are telling you it's a great day to go for a run, wherever you may be. They're down there somewhere. I can't see them. There, I see one. <laughs>